Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at my movies that are based off of video games, so let's dive right in. So the first one will be VHS because I have a couple VHS left, and that one is House of the Dead. I have the first movie on VHS. It's an okay movie. Next we'll move on to the DVDs, and the first one is The Maze Runner. This is based off of a mobile game turned movie. It's not a bad movie. Next is the Mario Brothers. This movie is classic. Even though it's bad, it's still so good. Next one is Dead Rising Watchtower. I have this movie on DVD. It's a good movie. I like it. Follow that up, I have House of the Dead 2. The reason why this one is loose is because of... The case got crushed, so I had to just put it into a slipcover. I have some of the Resident Evil movies on DVD, and then some of them I have on Blu-ray. So I have the first Resident Evil movie, Resident Evil Extinction, and then I have Resident Evil Afterlife, sorry for the glare, on DVD. So the next DVD that I have is the first movie for Silent Hill. I hope that they remake this, but uh, yeah, I have the first movie for DVD. Now we're going to move on to the Blu-rays. Uh, so we'll start off with the Resident Evils. So I do have the second one on Blu-ray, and then I have Afterlife again on Blu-ray. The reason why I got it for Blu-ray and I have it for DVD is because I got it dirt cheap. This was like a dollar. Somebody was just selling it to get rid of it. I wonder why. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. I have watched all the Resident Evils and they get worse as they go along, but still the classic is the first two. I love this one. This one make you know, Mike Epps, Mike Epps does a great job. So he gets, he should have gotten an Emmy and an Academy and an Oscar for all this <laughs> wrapped into one. The next Blu-ray is Halo 4, Forward Until Dawn. Uh, I got into it. I liked it. There's some parts that dragged along a little bit for me in my opinion, but Overall, it was a good movie. The next movie is Need for Speed. I didn't even know that this was actually a movie. Uh, it fell under the radar for me, and then I found it later on and had to pick it up. So I got it for a decent price. I got it for like 10 bucks. Um, I don't remember where, but definitely worth the watch. I mean, in, if you're not into Need for Speed games, you're not going to understand it. So just watch it like a regular movie. Next one is a classic, and this one I did hear about. And I was happy to get it because I got this collector's edition. It's Blu-ray and DVD in one, and it's Double Dragon. I wanted to get this when I heard that it was going to be out. I made sure that I pre-ordered this one. Uh, I can't remember exactly when it came out, but the reason why I liked it was because it's trying to be like the VHS style because they have the Be Kind Rewind and the slipcover kind of looks like the old-fashioned VHS covers. So anytime I see these, I usually try to snag them up. Next one is loosely based off of a great video game, and that is Rampage. Uh, for those who don't know, basically it's a video game about gorillas, dinosaurs, you name it. They're raging and they're running around and destroying the city. Um, this one is kind of loosely based off of the video game, so if you have not ever seen the video game, you probably won't be that mad about that they changed a lot of this stuff. And it has Dwayne Johnson, The Rock the people's champion. So you'll probably dig that too. Now a movie that disappointed me because I really love the video games and that is Assassin's Creed. I think they were just trying too hard, kind of like Resident Evil, to either they go too far into it like the video games like House of the Dead or they sway too far out of the realm and this was too video game. It was just too much video game. I know you gotta, you gotta have a happy balance of video game meets movie, but it just, it was just a little bit of a miss for me. Like, I, there were certain parts that I, I really dug, I really enjoyed it, and the reason why I like it for what it is, is because it's Assassin's Creed. If it was just a normal movie, I wouldn't have liked it, I wouldn't have dug it, I wouldn't have picked it up as a, like, a Blu-ray. I probably would have watched it either on Netflix or somewhere a streaming service, said, mm, good movie, and called it a day, but because it's Assassin's Creed, I let it pass. The next two are Tekken and Tekken Kazuha's Revenge. I keep forgetting to say how his name. And this one's movie series was surprising to me that I, I 
fell under the radar also, and then I heard about it, picked it up, and these were actually good movies. I really do enjoy them. I don't know if they were fan-made, turned into a studio, because, oh, uh, Anchor Bay Entertainment, so yeah, they were a studio. They were picked up by a good, legit studio, and I didn't know about it until somebody said, hey, have you seen the Tekken movies? And I don't remember who it was, and I was like, what? So I picked up both of them. Uh, I found them for a good price. This one was a little bit more because it's the first one, but I guess nobody really liked this one. It's okay. It's a good movie. I don't know, like, maybe because you have to really get into the video games to understand the movie. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe people don't like people throwing off eclipse all the time. Who knows? Now, I'll lump these two together because they're technically the same video game slash movie, just rebooted. And that is Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider and then Tomb Raider the reboot. Uh, great movie. Great movie. See? Paul? You don't have to make them all the center of a stage to make them really badass. Angelina Jolie wasn't the center of all the movie 24-7, even though her character was the main character. And you still got some good storyline. Same thing for here. She's building up into being what she is going to be. And you still have great side characters. Do you understand where I'm going with this Resident Evil? I hope the new movie is really, really good. So... Yeah, I got Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider the Reboot. Both great movies, both great, great video games. So definitely pick up, a, I would say pick this one up first. Uh, you get the prequel and then find this one for dirt cheap because this one's selling a little bit higher up now because I think it got discontinued, but I'm not sure. Next one was an older movie that I saw a long time ago and really dug. It is Fatal Fury, the motion picture. This is the animated movie. I had seen this a long time ago, I can't remember where, I think it was at a movie theater or it might have been when it was on like VHS maybe, I'm not sure. But this is a great movie. I wish they would make it into a live action movie to be honest. I haven't seen anything for Fatal Fury in forever. So King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, anything, I would love to see like something. I know that would be what I would go see. I would, I would whatever streaming service I would pick it up. and. That is not a lie. Like This is one of the few franchises that I would definitely pick up, watch. Even I would pay for one month service, whatever it is, just to watch whatever this one would be. Now, I will lump these together because technically it is the same franchise, but just a little bit different. So I have Doom and I have Street Fighter uh, combo pack. I saw this and it was a decent price, so I had to pick it up. Um, anything that's like 20 bucks, I'll pick up because it's literally $10 a movie. And then I have Street Fighter, the animated movie. This is really good. This is okay, good. Mm. This was the best animated movie I've seen in a long time when I was growing up. And still to this day, I can put this on anywhere at any time. And I will watch it from beginning to end. I love the fight scenes. I love the sequences. I love the storyline. Even though I know it's based off of, you know video game and you have the backstories and you already know them they really blended everything well together and you don't feel like one character outshined the other it was equal for everybody this one's not so much it's based off of Chung Lee wasn't my cup of tea I don't know they ever just tried too hard maybe I don't know it was it was okay I got it for dirt cheap so that's the only reason why I picked it up but yeah I don't recommend that one don't pick that one up for sure. Next is one of the Hitman video game slash movies, and that is Hitman. Just I just called Hitman. It is um there's another one called Hitman Agent 47. That one is not as good as this one. I like this one a little bit better. Um, I mean they both are okay in their own right, but this one I've liked and, and enjoyed way more for certain parts and then Agent 47 I liked for other parts which is weird like if they would have just put these two movies together it probably would have been a great movie they're both decent like they're both not like worth your time if you were to like go to the movie theater and see them but if you can find them for a really good price on a DVD or Blu-ray then pick it up but go watch it on the streaming service instead. Next is Warcraft this is actually really good um I don't know, could have went either way, and I really enjoyed it, so I don't have very much to say about it. I mean, I've only played a couple Warcraft games, 
So definitely try it out, see it, find it somewhere to watch it, and yeah, it's a good time. Now this one is funny. This is Dead Rising Endgame. It comes with free zombie tattoos. Who, who couldn't pass that up? I mean, it's hilarious to see that. It's got a decent slipcover. Um, Dead Rising is okay as a movie franchise, but when you got free zombie tattoos, you gotta go get them right now. But uh, I heard they're making another one, but I don't know when this new movie is going to be out and what it's going to be based off of. I think it's going to be based off of the fourth one, but I'm not sure. Next is a really bad one, and I don't know why they, they filmed it the way they did, but it says the director of The Transporter, which I forgot, and that's why I went to see it, and it's Dead or Alive. A funny movie, decent, okay, fighting... Nah. Nah. Too cheesy, too much. Which I think a lot of people like, but when you're trying too hard, it just doesn't work for me. So it's a funny one if you're not taking this seriously. That's how I'll say it. If you don't take this seriously, like House of the Dead, the movie, you'll enjoy it for what it is. And the next one is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. This is the... Uh, actually kind of funny to talk about it now because they're doing a reboot of the video game so definitely watch this one so you'll get the storyline and you'll know if you're what's going on because a lot of people haven't played the old prince of persia games but it's okay i don't know i don't i think it's just because it's uh jake gyllenhaal is the guy who's playing in the movie i think that might be why because i don't see jake as an action guy kind of like when you saw um, Married with Children, you saw him being a serious actor and just kind of fell flat, so maybe that's why. I mean, I'm being honest, if it was somebody else, maybe I would have watched it. So, that, it's an honest opinion on my opinion on that, so. And the last one is Mortal Kombat, the original, the first movie, the best movie. Um, I do know that there's a combo pack with the two, but I couldn't find it, so I settled for just the one. Which, that's why I, I won't pick up the second one unless I can find it for like a couple bucks because it's really not worth my money. And a lot of people have seen the new movie and I'm gonna buy that, but yeah, unless they have like a combo pack with the second movie in it, I already got the first one. And I already had the first one like a couple times. I bought it on DVD and I had it on VHS, so I don't want to keep buying the second one. It's not worth the money. This one, definitely worth, you know, buying for five, ten dollars, but... Nah, I'm good on that one. But um, I'm going to do some honorable mentions uh, for other DVD Blu-rays that I have that are technically TV shows, not actual movies. But the first one is Super Mario. This is going to be Super Mario World, Super Mario Super Show, and The Adventures of Super Mario 3. I have the DVD combo pack with that, and it's got a bunch of TV shows on there. Um, I like it. It's a fun little, you know time killer to have and definitely worth for the kids if you want to pick it up. The next one is Mortal Kombat Legacy. I found this for a good price. It was five bucks. Um, I kept the sticker. I don't know why, but it's actually a decent TV show. So if you ever catch this in the wild and it's like five dollars, pick it up for sure. It is worth your time. There is nine episodes. I'm looking on the back right now. Nine episodes. I know there's a couple seasons of this. I haven't seen the second season. I can't find it online without paying for it. I don't want to watch it. No offense to the people who made this. I just don't want to watch it again and have to like worry about it. But if I can find the second season for dirt cheap like I did before, I will definitely watch that for sure. But until then, I don't know. And if anybody knows in the comments, did they make a third season? I don't know for sure on that one either. Like, I know there's a second one, but I don't know if there's a third one. I am not keeping up to date with everything. And the next one is Castlevania, the one that's on Netflix. I finally got around to watching the first two, three seasons, and then I was shocked by how great they did everything. Now, the third one is a little eh. The third season is a little rocky, in my opinion, on certain episodes. Because I was like, hmm. But it's still a good show. I picked up the first season. Definitely watch it if you have Netflix. It's a little gory. Not meant for kids. But, hey, it's an M-rated, you know, like, see game stuff style. But I will 
give one note. Um, there is a lot of nudity in this, so definitely <laughs> make sure that if you're watching this, don't watch the, especially the third season without like closing the door because you don't know who's watching you and be like, oh, it's like, no, I'm not watching him. <laughs> I'm watching Castlevania. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray collection for video game based movies. And yeah, hope you liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite movie out of what I have? And for your collection, how many movies do you have, whether they be VHS, DVD, or Blu-ray? What do you have for your collection? And actually, 4K. I don't have any 4K, but if you have 4K movies, how many do you have that are actually based off of video games? And do you recommend any of the movies that I have missed? I do want to pick up Monster Hunter, but I don't know how good the movie is. I haven't seen it yet. I know it just recently came out, and it has Tony Jaa. Uh, Tony is the one that is in The Protector and in the other couple, like he does Muay Thai. And I like him, but Milia Jovovich and it's Paul. I don't know. So I already had Resident Evil and I'm kind of like, eh, do I want to ruin this? So let me know in the comments down below if I watch Monster Hunter, will it ruin the video game for me? I don't want to ruin the video game for myself. So thank you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you're new, hit the sub button, helps out the channel, and I'll catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games too.